In other news, on the 1st of July 2023, India's indigenous fighter aircraft LCA Tejas completed seven years of service to the nation. As the world's lightest fighter jet steps into its eighth year of service, Vyond senior correspondent Siddharth MP brings you this ground report. Now, it's the lightest fighter aircraft in the world. Fully loaded, it weighs all of 13.5 tons or 13,500 kilograms. It can fly at 1.6 times the speed of sound or nearly 2,000 kilometers per hour. It's an all-weather single-engine multi-role light combat aircraft. And to top it all, this aircraft is made in India, built by the government-run aerospace and defense firm Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in a partnership with a host of private in Indian industries as well. The Tejas took decades to design and develop. The development program began in the 1980s. The aircraft first flew in 2001. Thereafter, it took a decade and a half of further modifications and testing. And today, the Tejas stands as a potent platform meant for air defense, maritime reconnaissance and strike roles. So far, in thousands of hours of flying, the Tejas has not had a single accident. And this is a proof of its reliability and robustness. Tejas has also hogged international attention by representing India at various international events. This includes the Lima 2019 exhibition in Malaysia, the Dubai Air Show 2021, Singapore Air Show 2022, and Aero India shows between the years 2017 and 2023. In March this year, the Tejas also participated in the exercise Desert Flag in the UAE. This was the aircraft's maiden exercise on foreign soil. At present, the Indian Air Force operates two squadrons or a little more than 30 Tejas aircraft. They're all based at the Sulur Air Force in Tamil Nadu, a strategic location in southern India. The Tejas light combat aircraft is an Indian success story and an indigenous one at that because when we look at the aircraft here, this aircraft is powered by an American engine, the GE or General Electric F404. And then when we talk about the airframe, the uh, you know body of the aircraft itself is made in India. And uh, when we look at the components of this aircraft, uh, in terms of um, Indian components, there are nearly 75% components that are made in India of the Tejas. And when we look at the cost of this aircraft, uh, almost 60% of the cost of making one aircraft is actually pumped back into India because 60% of the value of the aircraft is, you know, derived from Indian industry and the Indian aerospace, uh, you know, uh, consortiums that are there in our country. And uh, when we look at uh, some of the other components of the aircraft, you can see that uh, this aircraft is actually using Martin Baker ejection seats, which are from the UK. And at the nose cone, when we look, there is a radar which is from Israel. So the beauty is that all of these components that come from different different uh, manufacturers across the world are integrated here in India. The software and the coding, the flight computer, all of that is from India. So Indian engineers have put together this engineering marvel and uh, nearly 2 million lines of code have gone into programming the flight computer for Tejas which also is made in India. And the most significant aspect about this is that we are looking at the world's lightest fighter aircraft, the light combat aircraft Tejas. And ample testimony to this aircraft's prowess is the fact that there are nearly a handful of countries, including the US and Australia and Malaysia, that have expressed interest to purchase this aircraft from India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Very soon, the advanced variant of the Tejas, named LCA MK1A, will join the Air Force's fleet and orders have been placed for 83 of them. The Tejas MK-1A will feature an advanced radar, electronic warfare capabilities and more lethal weapons. By February 2024, the Indian Air Force expects to take delivery of the new planes in a phased manner. For the year to come, the Tejas is a platform that India's aerospace sector pins huge hopes on. Tejas is a highly capable aircraft and as far as the Tejas uh, squadrons, the two squadrons, the flying daggers and the flying bullets that operate of uh, Sulur are concerned, they can be called fairly as the defenders of Peninsula India because when they operate from here, their area of responsibility is uh, pretty much from uh, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands on the eastern side and also Lakshadweep Islands on the western side. So the Tejas aircraft that operate out of Air Force Station Sulur in Tamil Nadu are actually the defenders of India's peninsula and while we have strike aircraft like Sukhoi 30 MKI to go 
and hit out enemy targets uh, very deep. We have aircraft like LCA Tejas that can actually protect uh, near shore and also protect vital installations that are positioned all across South India and some of these include nuclear power plants, India's spaceport and a lot of industries and economic hubs that operate out of South India.